Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, Monsi. I'm not very smart. We are recording now. Thank you for catching that. So hopefully, if you're running your March Madness group, I'm super excited. We start ours tomorrow. That's how we're going to do the points, just to toss that out there. You do whatever melts your butter. Tonight, what we're going to talk about, first 15 minutes, we're going to dive into this. Last 15 minutes, we'll open it up for questions. So if you have questions, make sure you write them down. You can put them in the chat box, or you can unmute yourself at the end. We're going to talk about coaching. So I want this week for everybody on Team VIP to be a heavily focused week on recruitment. Most of us, I think, via the social, we were all heavily inviting to challenge groups last week, and we were getting people plugged in. I saw a lot of people having, like, last calls, which is awesome. So this week, shifting your mindset into coaching, so building your team, because we know that that's where the value lies. That's where the longevity of this business lies, and that's where the true potential of helping other people succeed is. Like, it's one thing to help people find their health and their fitness and their happiness, but then to take them from there and help them to find financial freedom and freedom of time is incredible. So I want that to be the mindset that we roll into. We're going to start by talking about um, three questions. So if you don't have something to write with, get something to write with and to write on, or you can do it on your phone whatever the case might be, Raquel is going to give you the three questions and then we're going to give you some Titan to fill them out. So if you are ready for that, let's get rolling. Okay. So the first question is what initially drew you to coaching? So for some of us in here, we started as a client. We were just looking to get results for ourselves. Okay. So what initially drew you to coaching? For some of us, we came in for the business opportunity. So think about why did I initially get into coaching? What was it? And usually there's just like something, like I really want you to think like, what was it? There's like a post that got me. There was something that I saw my coach do. Something clicked where you're like, you know what? I think I could do it too, okay? That's your first question. So go ahead and think about that. So as you're writing that, Leah is going to give her answer to that question to kind of get your wheels turning and just get a different perspective for you. Hello. Um, I started coaching. I honestly didn't know anything about it. I started as a challenger. My shorts didn't fit me. It was time to do something. Was never into health. Was never into fitness. Saw my coach's results, watched her for like months, maybe six months, and then finally reached out, joined a challenge group. And then I saw how inspirational, how motivational everyone was in the group. And it kept me going. It kept me accountable. And then honestly, when some of them in the group kind of fell off, I, I would catch myself co uh, texting my coach, Mallory, and be like, I don't understand. Like, why, why isn't she like, I, you know, this is so motivating for me. Like, why isn't it working for her? But um, at the end of the challenge, it was day 21, and I had lost seven and a half pounds, 11 inches, and it was that moment where I was like, this is doable, and I can do it too, and they posted, you know, if you're, are you interested in coaching, let us know, and that's how my coaching started, um, but then at the end of the day, I realized they were just like me too, like my coaches whether we had something in common or not, they were just, they were individuals on the same journey and I could relate to them. Love it. So good. Results will get that for you. Results will push you over to the other edge to be like, hell yes, this actually works. Okay. So that was your first question as what initially drew you to this? For Leah, it was results. The second one I want you to write down is what were your hesitations, your fears, Mm, I don't know if I could do that or like, mm, I'm not sure. What was it? Because let's be real. Most of us in here had some sort of block that was like, ah, I don't know. For Leah, obviously she got great results. That helps. And I think she, she said the same thing. Like I looked at them and like, they weren't really any different than me, right? My coaches weren't any different than me. So heck yeah. But for some of us in here, maybe you looked at your coach and was like, well, I don't know if I could do what she's doing. Or, you know, Rachel always like, throws me under the bus and says, I thought this was a scam. She always says that she thought it was a scam. Meanwhile, she was getting great results. But, you know, whatever it is, what were some of your hesitations, your fears of like, mm, I don't know if coaching is for me, and write those down. 
there's purpose behind this madness. So just play along with us. Cool. Ooh, time. Yeah. Time's a good one. Yeah, that's a great one for sure. Okay, Leah, did you have any hesitations or blocks? Maybe even after you started that you kind of like slowed you down that you were like, ooh, wasn't ready for that. Yeah, because my husband was like, it's a pyramid scheme. And I'm like, well, wait a second. Let me, let me try this because it's working for the others, right? And then now he sees it. So I'm like, oh, I got, you know, so-and-so signed up and they're having results. And he was like, all right, like, let's get three more. Like, he's like, he's on it. But yeah, he's still not, not signed up. I need to work on him with that. Um, but yeah, the whole, the pyramid scheme was for me, he made me kind of look at it a little bit more before I really dove into it. Then at first I kind of, I joined and it was like, okay, it's paying for my shakes. Like, I'm not really getting much, like, do I keep going? And it wasn't until the internship really did help. So, um, but it's, it's all about being consistent. So what you put into it, you get out, right? So, um, but that was like the only little hesitation I had that I had to rethink. But then, I mean, it's, at the end of the day, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's something that's going to benefit you in the long run and it's forever, right? And it helps, it helps us be healthier in our overall wellness. So um, I kept going. Good. That's a huge one for a lot of people. And like spousal hang up is a huge block for people. Cause if your spouse doesn't support you, it can really weigh you down. Honest to goodness, Caleb didn't know he was a coach until after he was a coach <laughs> because that's just how it rolls. Like, guess what? Oh, PS you're Emerald. Like I just, that's just how things roll. But if you don't have, if you have a spouse that's like combating you, like Caleb didn't know what I did for the entire first year that I like, he was like, sure, that's cute. Whatever. Sure. That's nice. But then he started seeing the money grow and he's like, wait a hot minute. Like this is actually, and now he gets very competitive with what he's making and wants to know and all that Jasmine fries. And Raquel's going to talk about the importance of your spouse signing up, but that's a huge objection for some people. So I'm glad that you powered through it. Okay. Final question. And then we'll make sure that we talk through some of these things because all your hesitations, totally normal. We all get them, right? We all hear those same hesitations and objections. Um, but the third qu the question I want to ask is, what do you love about coaching now? Like, what are you like? I love this. Like, I, I love coaching with all my heart. I hope y'all know that. Hopefully y'all can see that by now. And I'm like, this is the best thing ever, but there's so many things that I love about it now. Um, you know, it's this community, like the fact that we are all here together on a Sunday night. It's like, I just love doing life with this community. And honestly, I didn't realize getting in when I signed to be a coach that I was needing this. This is just like icing on the cake, but that's one thing I love about it. So what is it now that you're in, you're on our family, maybe you're brand new, maybe you've only been on a coach on our team for two weeks, but what do you love about it? Like what, it, is it helping you with your accountability? Cause I truly think that, and I always use Rachel as an example. Sorry, Rachel, you're just like in literally in the middle of my screen. I see you meal prepping. So I'm looking at you, but like you didn't get crazy, amazing. You got good results, but you didn't get the results you got now until you became a coach. Like maybe for you, it's upping that accountability. Like now that you're like, shoot, I'm putting myself out there. Like I got it. I got to figure it out. Right. Um, is it able for you to pay for your Shakeology, which is awesome. Is it this community? Like, what do you love about coaching now? Also another great thing. I never did personal development prior to being a coach. I was like, I don't need self-help. Like, pfft, what is that? And now I'm obsessed with becoming the best version of myself. We literally went to a seminar, traveled to Houston all day Wednesday. I'm obsessed with being the best version of myself and helping others do it too. So really think, what do I love about it now? Yes. Yes, Jen. I love being around, you know, they say you are the average of the five people you hang around most. So hanging around other badass women is pretty awesome. It'll make you level up real fast for sure. Luckily, you have 27. Badass. <laughs> okay, Leah, give us yours. For me, and I know it's for everyone too, it's helping others, right? Because you are you found something that helps you, right? And you're like, okay, I want to share this. And it works for others. And then you see that. And then they're thankful. And then it, it's almost like a, a domino effect, which I am obsessed with because People see that it can work for them and it just keeps going from there. Number two, I found an outlet. Um, 
I'm, I live in a super small town, like it's population 1900. Um, I come from, I mean, when I was in college, I was part of a sorority. Um, my friends aren't close by. So I was able to connect with people I can relate to that has really been beneficial for me in the best way possible. Um, every, I'm a teacher, but all the high school teachers I teach with are at different waves of life. Um, older, have kids that are older, and I can't relate to them only just with work, right? But now I have Team VIP who I can be on the phone with every Sunday and connect with and get to chat with and relate to everyone. Um, it's been like a huge, y'all have been a huge impact in my life. So thank y'all. But that's probably like the best ever. It's rewarding for me. And it keeps me accountable at the end of the day, like Raquel said, keeps me going. So thank you. Good. Love it, Leah. Thank you for sharing because we just put you on the spot. You know. We just told her like right before this that she was going to talk and you did fabulous. Okay. So the reason we're taking you through this exercise is because everything that you've written down, hopefully you've written down a few things in each category. Those are all each individual post. I don't want you to go and make a post and be like, here's my hesitations. Here's what I thought. Here's what I found. You don't have to do it. But each of those little things you should be touching about throughout the week in your stories in your post and touch on, you know, why, what initially drew you to coaching? What was it, right? Where were you in life? What were you looking for? Were you a client? Were you looking for an extra way to extra income? Were you looking for community? What was it? Touch on that. What were your hesitations? Before I got into this, my husband and I were a little skeptical about this. We were like, is this real? It seems a little too good to be true. But then I got in it and I found what? I'm getting great results. I'm helping sharing just like when I go to the movies and I see a great movie and I want to tell everyone about it and then they go and see the movie. It's like when you're sharing things that you love, right? So you talk about what you found. What was your hesitation? I was scared that I wasn't knowledgeable enough to be able to be a coach. Like I don't know anything about fitness and nutrition, but the cool thing is I don't have to. Or the cool thing is I'm learning so much more now about how to exercise effectively, how to eat well and balance. And I can share what I've learned with others around me who are also getting great results. All of these things that you touched on need to be individual posts that you're sharing with others. Because if you're thinking it, there's so many of us on here, 27, 28 now, and y'all are like, oh my gosh, yes, I thought that too. So if people on here thought that too, you can better believe that people watching you and watching your coaching journey have those same hesitations or have those same thoughts, or maybe you're looking for an outlet or maybe looking for a way to earn extra income. So touch on those things and talk to that person. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I see a few nodding, so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Do you want to so, add anything to that, Jessica? Yeah. So now, once you take those posts and those stories, and I definitely find that it's easier, align your stories with your post for the day. So whatever your post is about for the day, talk about it further in your stories and allude to that in your post so that you're kind of driving traffic to both locations because then in your stories you can dive a little further you can add a poll you can get different ways of engagement so making them tie together pick one and just decide okay this is my theme for today today i'm going to talk about whatever and that's your theme in your stories and your posts so use that and then i'm going to put in the chat box here this is a conversation guide super simple it's only about coaching um, if you have any trouble opening it for some reason can't see that please let me know um, We use it for our internship last month Raquel and I made it for that, but it's just very simple There's three options to choose from say this this or this kind of a, a giving you an opportunity of different ways to invite and don't forget about inviting your current Discount coaches and your current clients. So there's an example in there like just be super simple people that are already working with you They already know like and trust you they already know the products work. They already feel better in their own skin, but they probably need you to breathe a little belief and a little confidence into them to let them know, hey, I love having you in this group. Like your energy is fantastic. Or the post you did the other day was awesome. Or I love that you're throwing in recipes. Whatever it is about them that you're loving, reach out and say that and say, I think you'd be an incredible coach. Is it ever something that you've thought about? And then you can go through the next steps. You'll see on the, the conversation guide, there's a little 12-minute video. We've talked about it a ton on here. Um, you send them that 
because it kind of gives them an overview and then you're not giving them verbal diarrhea. By the time that you get on a call, whether it's you and that person or a three-way call with your upline, you just want to be opening the door for them to speak and letting them talk and letting them ask questions. If you come at them 100 miles a minute about why they should become a coach, they're not going to hear anything because it's too much information and they don't care. Remember when you look back on your paper, the reason that you joined to be a coach was not because of your upline's presentation skills. It was because of the feeling and emotion. Something made you feel confident and happy and excited and you wanted to share that with somebody else. It had nothing to do with verbal diarrhea. So the more that they get to talk about that excitement and that confidence and how their life has been impacted and the fact that they want to do that for somebody else, that's what you want to kind of dive into. And just remember, don't be scared. Be genuine. But if you don't ask people to be a coach, there's a high likelihood that they're not going to come and ask you because people are nervous and they're scared and they don't think they have all the hesitations that you have. So they need you to reach out to them, invite them, and give them that confidence. And our event is Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, live in a Facebook group. So it's super non-confrontational. It's not a Zoom like this. They can hop on, be a fly on the wall. They can watch the recording later. Super easy. Follow up with anybody and everybody who's maybe already said no because sometimes they just need to hear it in a different format. Maybe they've watched that 12 minute video, but they, they kind of ghosted you or they weren't really sure they still had some hesitations, but then they get on and they're able to see a couple of us go live and talk about our personal stories and that gets them super fired up. They just needed to hear it in a different way. So don't count anybody out and really, really, really focus hard on pushing out of your comfort zone this week. Don't send one invite this week that isn't about coaching and see what happens in your business. Cool. Questions on any of that? And the last thing I want to just say too is like, is your life better because of this opportunity? Right? I just feel like even if I had never made $5 in this business, my life has been infinitely blessed by this. Right? And so I always think, man, you just never know what someone's going through or who needs this opportunity in their life. And I so wish someone that I knew, loved, or trusted had reached out to me to offer like this opportunity and this gift. So just never forget that. You never know who might be needing this in their life. Cool. And yes, Jessica just posted the what is coaching group. That's where we'll be going live on Wednesday. Um, but excited to share uh, more openly in there um, our stories this week and just, you know, having open for your prospects. If they can't hop on live, no worries. The recordings stay up. Cool. Um, okay. So that's it. That's what we have. We really just want you to touch on that. Do we have any questions? So, you know, we have, have the last 15 minutes open for questions. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Um, we were going to talk about the husband, right? Everyone, <laughs> Rachel's post that she posted about her husband always kind of like resurfaces. And then it's like all of these questions about signing up your spouse. So I will be super honest with you. It's not going to make sense in your head when you're a new coach as to why you should sign up a spouse or family member. It just won't. All I can say is I will explain it as best I can. Just know I did not understand it in the beginning and it has cost us thousands of dollars. <laughs> okay. My, I always say this, my big do over in Beachbody, if I had a do over, it would be to sign up Ryan, my husband immediately. But I didn't because I didn't, I couldn't afford it. We could not afford for both Ryan and I to be making Shakeology. That's probably a lie. I probably could have adjusted my budget and made it maybe work, but I couldn't. Like, I was like, mm, I can't. However, I should have just signed up his spot, been, we could have figured out a way to make him active, make it work. And if you need help with that, reach out to your upline. We can figure it out. But the benefit of signing up your spouse early is that. Not only will he have a place early in your downline, but any coaches on our team that you sign up next, that maybe they're rock stars, any sort of volume they create, you're going to benefit and your husband is going to benefit. Okay. Um, the earlier they have it, the more their access, more access they have volume to. Again, to be Emerald, if you're not an Emerald on this call, I challenge you before next Sunday to become Emerald. If you are serious about making this a business, you need to get to Emerald as soon as possible because that's when you start really getting access to all the volume on our team. Okay. So again, it can be a family member. Like I said, it was mine was my best friend, Jessica and my mom, boom, Emerald. It should have been my best friend, 
Ryan, but I didn't know better. <laughs> okay, but the benefit of signing up your spouse is, one, you can work his account so that when you hit Success Club in your account, then you can start funneling things under your husband's account. That builds volume. Once you're an Emerald, you start earning team cycle bonuses. So basically, it's like you're going to get to earn commission under his account and then earn that passive income, like $14 as an Emerald. It'll start adding up to $28 and then to $56. And then before you know it, that team cycle bonus can grow immensely. Go back and look at Rachel's picture and you can kind of see where it grows. So that's in one way that you can make it work to your benefit to earn start more earning more income now. The second benefit, long-term vision, is once you become a two-star diamond, meaning you're a diamond and you have two diamonds on your other leg, everyone, once you hit diamond, it should be a sprint to hit to two-star. If you've been on our team for a while, you know we harp on two-star like it's going out of style. We will continue to tell you to hit two-star if you want to make this a big business to earn full-time income because that's where the magic happens. Two-star, two-star, two-star. When you become a two-star diamond coach, the cool thing is, is Beachbody lets you basically franchise yourself, okay? Again, I know this isn't going to make a total a lot of sense, but I'm going to do my best to explain it. I have franchised myself. I have two business owners. I have Raquel number one, and I have Raquel number two. The cool thing is, I have Ryan, my husband, and I have my second business center. So now I sell challenge packs. I make commission. Ryan earns team cycle bonus, and my first business center earns team cycle bonus. So basically, it's like I get to triple dip. I get commission, he earns team cycle bonus, I earn team cycle bonus. So a challenge pack that I normally earn $50 with, I've now earned 50 plus Ryan's a diamond, 18, plus I'm a diamond, 18. So what's that, 50 plus 36? Now my $50 commission now just became $86. Okay, does that make sense? Probably again, you're like, I, uh, it's not going to make sense in the beginning, but trust me when I say, if you are serious about building this business, you need to sign up your spouse as soon as possible. Ask your upline coach the best placement, but that's really, let me make sure that I'm not answering any questions that we have. Yes, Rachel Johnstone, your income will literally double when you hit two star. Your goal right now, we get everyone, get to diamond. We say emerald. Yay, you're officially open for business. Because until you're really an Emerald coach, you're just open to earning commission, which is fine, but unless you're selling challenge packs, you're not earning income. Once you become Emerald, you start banking on volume and you open yourself up to earning that passive residual income, okay? Then we'll get you to Diamond where you'll start earning more residual income, right? You're at the place where you can earn the most, and then it'll be a sprint to two-star. We don't even have to talk to two-star until you're a Diamond, but just know that's where we're pushing you if you want to build a full-time income. And I consider a full-time income $1,000 a week. Obviously, you can make way more than $1,000 a week, but that's what I, when I say a full-time income, that means you are at least earning $1,000 a week, and most of that usually is coming through your residual team cycle bonus. I'm not slinging 50 challenge packs a week. Do I, do I want to? Absolutely. Am I? No. But that's where we want you to be. So trust us on this. Signing up your spouse will be the very best thing you could do. Learn from my mistake. Don't do what I did because I didn't know better. And if it's a, it's a thing of I just don't have the money, then I totally get that. I've been on a tight budget. I had three kids in daycare. I get it. At least get his spot for $40. And then if you're buying Recover or Energize or a three-day refresh or anything else, buy it out of his account to make him active. That's what I should have done. I just was like, I can't afford Shakeology and his business fee. We can't do it dumb. I was buying other products. I should have just bought it out of his account, but I didn't know better. Cool. Um, let's see. Yes, Fallon. Great job. I'm glad you signed up your spouse. Jen, the live Facebook coaching event will be at 8 30 PM central standard time. Again, if they can't pop on live, no worries because the recordings will stay up. Okay. Okay. Any last final questions, comments, or concerns before we hop off? We are 9 31. Ooh, look at us. I know. We slightly went over our 15 minutes, which is totally weird. Normally, we're just so on time. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Talkers. Okay, nothing else? Good? Okay, so remember, you're in a recruitment mode this week. You are recruiting your fellow rock stars. And imagine, you're looking for your athletes. The best athletes get recruited. 
go recruit your people that you would love to work with or that you think have great potential. Hope you have an amazing day. See, oh, wait, Laura's taking the photo. Did you take it already? Oh, we're taking a boomy. Boomy? Ooh, photo. You want to do photo or boomy? I don't know. Photo because you awesome. can share it a little better. Let's than just do both. Okay. okay, now you're getting wild. Now you're getting wild. <laughs> All right, smile. How's my hair look? Okay, hold on, boomy. Let me go to my Instagram. <laughs> you're welcome. I just okay, boomy, one, two, three. Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> Was there a meeting if it's not on social? I don't think so. <laughs> Bye, team. Bye, guys.